They marched by the hundreds of thousands in cities across America and the world. An estimated half million people in Washington, D.C. alone. I want my voice to be heard. I want Congress to know that I'm upset and that it's not okay what's going on. From the streets to the stage, their message was clear. They want lawmakers to enact new gun control laws to keep schools safe. I don't want your community to join the ghastly inner circle that mine is now a part of. Emma Gonzalez survived the school shooting in Parkland, Florida, and helped create the Never Again movement. She stood in silence for the same amount of time it took the gunman to kill 17 people. Since the time that I came out here, it has been six minutes and 20 seconds. The shooter has ceased shooting and will soon abandon his rifle, blend in with the students as they escape and walk free for an hour before arrest. Fight for your lives before it's someone else's job. Many of the young people here today are not old enough to vote, but they will be in 2020. And they say they're already thinking about the next presidential election. It's really, really important for the people who are my age who will be able to vote in the next election to start making a difference now. Organizers say today's rally is just the beginning. We're focusing on the biggest voter registration push uh, our nation's ever seen. Um, we're going to register, we're going to educate, and we're going to get the vote. They are hoping to make gun control a central issue in the upcoming midterm elections. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Washington.